Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the recipes for my three laziest but most delicious go-to vegan meals with you all. But if you're looking for more easy and fast recipes, or even just a community where you can connect with other vegans, I highly suggest you check out this new app that I just discovered called Vegan Amino. So the app is free to download. It's actually like a super little cute fork and tomato button. And when it loads up, you see this interface and it has tons of super simple recipes that you can look at and they'll give you instructions and you can like or comment the, on the recipes. And I think it's cool because not only does it have recipes, but there are also different forums and you can start topics to talk about things with other vegans. I have an account on here, obviously. I'm from my bowl. Here's my little icon. And I post on here occasionally as well. I have like an ice cream photo and I posted the recipe for my vegan brownie video that I just posted. And I just think it's another easy way to connect to vegans. So if you guys are interested, you should definitely check it out. Oh, by the way, look at the cool sticker that I have on my phone. No meat, no problem. So bringing it back to the main focus of this video, even though the recipes in this video are not going to be very aesthetically pleasing, I guess, they're just as delicious, nutritious, and even faster than some of the food I normally cook. As most of you know, I am a recent grad school student, and grad school is incredibly busy. I have class for most of the day during the week, and then when I get home, I have a lot of homework that I need to do as well. So while some days I do like to cook in order to de-stress and sort of relax, there are some days when I just simply don't have time, or I'm just so hungry and exhausted that I just want something really fast and these are the three meals that are my go-to meals that I know that I can cook really fast and they'll still be delicious so without further ado let's get started on the first recipe and I hope you enjoy this video so first we're going to make an apple spiced oatmeal and if anyone tells you that you can't have oatmeal for lunch or dinner they're just plain wrong so you're going to put one dry cup of oats into a pot I use half and half of rolled oats and quick oats then I added one and a half cups of water and half of a cup of soy milk or another plant-based milk just to make it a little creamy. Then I added a dash of cinnamon and a handful of raisins. And then finally I just chopped an apple up and tossed that in there as well. Then all you're going to do is turn the heat to medium and stir your oatmeal occasionally and just let it cook until it reaches the desired consistency that you like best. And I topped my oatmeal with an apple and some molasses, but you could do coconut sugar, maple syrup, or even peanut butter if you wanted. So this next dish looks really simple, but it's my absolute favorite combination of veggies and rice. So the first thing you're going to do is to cook your rice. Now it's always important to wash your rice to make sure it's less starchy and doesn't stick together as much. And to cook my rice, I use an instant pot. So I just put the rice in the pot with the correct amount of water. Then I put the lid on to secure it. And the thing I love about the Instant Pot is that white rice cooks in only four minutes, which is absolutely amazing and such a great time saver. So while the rice is cooking, I just poured some water into a pot and then I added about three fourths of a cup of frozen corn, about half of a cup of frozen peas, and then in about another three fourths of a cup of beans. I usually use black beans, but I had black eyed peas today and it was just as good. You could use whatever beans you like. Then I just mix the veggies around while the pan is on a low to medium heat just to defrost them so they're lightly cooked because that's the way I like them. Then I mix that with the rice in a bowl. And the most important part is a generous drizzle of sriracha. This seriously makes the dish. And that's it. It's super simple, super cheap, but it's one of my favorite meals. It's honestly so satisfying. So my final lazy meal is baked potato fries with some fresh greens. So here I'm using russet potatoes. I just wash my potatoes and I'm going to show you how I cut them to make fry shapes. I just cut the potato in about a fry shaped thickness and then I cut those slices into smaller slices. And just repeat for all the potatoes. And just put all of your fry slices into a giant bowl. And to season I use some garlic powder, some cumin, and some smoked paprika as well. And the potatoes are still wet, so the seasoning will stick. So all you have to do is mix it up until they're evenly coated. And then you can cook your potatoes on parchment paper or a wire rack, but I use a nonstick silicone mat. So you just lay them all out, make sure they're not touching. And then I just bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 37 minutes. And I like to serve them with fresh greens because potatoes can be kind of drying and I like how the greens are hydrating. 
And I always dip my potatoes in some sauces. So today I had some organic barbecue sauce and some organic ketchup as well. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some easy recipe ideas and I will talk to you later. Bye.